what's going on youtube we are back yeah. with another video husband wife hope everybody's <laughs> out there having a blessed day hope everybody's out there being safe masked up sanitized up what else love rona free you already know you gotta stay rona free all 2020 so today what are we talking about love we're talking about what do you think of being of living together outside of marriage outside of marriage or before marriage yeah before marriage should couples live together before they get married or no you want to go first that's a good question what do you think you think people should live together before they get married first of all <laughs> I don't know if I could say this without being incriminating, but fat and sit is a no no. <laughs> right, Tim? It's a no no. Fat and sit is a no no. Oh, keep it that is a no, is a no no. So basically, fat and sit is to live with someone before you marry them. Mm. And traditionally, culturally, my culture it's something that doesn't happen mm. it's something that's not supposed to happen you're only supposed to live with the man once he's married you mm. because once you live with him before he's married you he doesn't feel the need to carry on with the marriage because he has all the benefits of a wife ah that's pretty interesting he has all the benefits of a wife and he hasn't like put a ring on it see until he puts like the cartier on your finger yeah <laughs> Don't. Uh-uh. Uh. What? what? <laughs> Look how that's a cardiac. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? So, I was raised to believe that men and women should not live together before marriage. Yeah. But... In my humble opinion. Oh. <laughs> you already know. Not not everybody is easy to live with. But at the same time we gotta think logically and you know in the in the, the times that we're living in. I can't even make that an excuse anymore because you know, there's opportunities out there, but the rent in New York ain't cheap. So yeah, if you're trying to get a house or even an apartment in New York by yourself. Good luck. But yeah, moving in with someone Lady. before marriage, it's found upon in the in the in the in, in the early yeah in the, in the early stages of you know our culture and our background, but. Now, it's more of, uh, if y'all plan on making this thing work, and, you know, y'all gonna see it through, then, I mean, go ahead. But there's there's people who, I mean, if, if you feel y'all in a relationship and y'all spending too much money, y'all both got your own place, might as well, if y'all wanna save some money, just move in together and you build that way, you know what I mean? But that's a plan. Y'all can't just jump into it you know you have to have a few conversations and after the relationship has reached i mean a couple of years and you feel like okay we could see if we could actually live together but in a sense where i just meet you or you know I'm it's been two or three me. no i'm just saying if i just met you and it's been like two three months and you're like all right come live with me or i'm gonna come live with you and Y'all just move in together like that fast. You don't really know that person well enough yet to have them move in with you, much less, 
you know, give them all the free reign of what what wife said, you know, the the wife the wife uh what you said? The benefits of yeah. having a wife. Yeah, the benefits, but uh I I'm gonna jump into to that <laughs> later, benefits of having a wife. But yeah, when when you have somebody that actually lives with you it's 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 different because now y'all have to share space y'all have to mind i mean what what you do like before you could just do what you want freely now it's like okay this person's here so now you have to get used to their sleeping habits or their eating habits or their cleanliness or you know there's a whole bunch of stuff that that comes into play when you're moving in with somebody but for for me, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it or in the same sense. I feel there should be some kind of formality where you get to know the person before you actually just jump in and move in with the person. You don't just move in off the bat, you know. So I would say this is why I'm like, because oh, I know this is going to be very contradictory to what the way we, we were raised. But um i would say if you guys are leading down the path of you gonna spend forever with each other i mean everybody has a trial even amazon gives you a 30 day trial netflix gives you a 30 day trial before you actually pay for it so um try it out mm. and see how it is like with what happened with us you have to try it out first what happened with us Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all try it out first before y'all jump into, you know, the whole, the whole situation. If you really are serious, that's the thing. Y'all, y'all gotta start taking these relationships yeah, serious. You can't just also, move this is also the thing, yeah. anybody like, in your house because when when you bring that kind of energy into your house, because you don't know what kind of energy they coming with. If you, you know, if you don't know them like that, that's how I tell you. Give them some time. Get to know them, you know their background, their parents, and all that. How they sleep and how they eat, and especially their bad habits. You know, you don't want to have somebody in your house and now you live with them and they snoring all the time, or they leaving their clothes all over the place and they don't like to clean up. And, you know, now I say, listen, what? baby, it goes beyond habits. Yeah, but I'm just it's, saying, like. Moving into someone else because they're they of their habits. No, know? It's, it's more like financially, and then you know the habits start to play a part. You know, but no, it, I think like if you're gonna take the step to move in with somebody, you gotta really know what you're doing. Mm. Like you know, I know we'd like to say wait for marriage in order to make a move in or something, but we need to be practical. We are living in the 21st century. Most people who are living together, who are married now, probably did live with each other before they got married. Like mm -hmm. they take that step. Like we're so serious. Let's get an apartment together. Let's move in, and then as their relationship is going, yeah. and they're That's like, good. okay, he's gonna propose, and now they're gonna get married. But they don't just like. Oh, I'm gonna have my place and she has her place and you know when we get married then we like we find a place realistically that is like ideal but that is not what happens people are co is it cohabiting <laughs> whatever the term is mm -hmm. already right so and in a sense it, they, it makes sense they, they, that's what they're doing and even though we want to justify it and be like no oh, you know wait for marriage or you shouldn't be doing that People are doing it. That's mm -hmm. the reality. Right. Should you live with someone before you get married? They would say no. But it's up to you. Right. It's up to your relationship. Pretty much. Because if you don't know the person like that, I don't say that. But a lot of people do it, you know, just to say. And then it's, it's also, if yeah, you're going to build, save. yeah, if you're going to build with that person, it only makes sense. Okay, we're going to save for a wedding. I'm not going to be paying my rent, then you pay your rent. Are we still trying to save for like our future? It only makes sense just to pay one rent, and we could save a little yeah, faster. Yeah, you could do that, but you, know? you see, <laughs> but I'm just saying, if if you said if we lead in towards marriage, it only makes sense to do it that way. You start you being move, financially, you, you move in sound, but you see, if if this is the instance, right? If the girl is still living at home with her parents, mm. and the guy has his apartment 
you know mm. so she would move out of her parents home to go stay with the guy mm. and then she'd still help him pay the rent whereas she would be it's staying not, at home and, and she wouldn't have free. to worry yeah but that's that's and that's then not only what i'm just saying like move in with, with him when she's gonna marry him that's not well in a sense but you have to think more you know logically if you plan on leaving your parents house right right you're gonna have to pay rent regardless whether you move with the man or you live by yourself you can't stay at your parents house forever correct you're gonna have to pay rent so if you're gonna start paying rent it only makes it a little easier now that you're only paying half or you know i mean whatever you could afford on the rent when you move with the man so if if you're gonna leave your parents house just be prepared for the responsibilities that come with it you know you may not have the responsibilities at your, your parents house but as soon as you move out you know these bills start exactly. kicking in you know you rent, light it. you know cable you know Internet. food all this stuff start you know racking up you know before but that's like a part of growth we all yeah. eventually moved out of our parents homes to um take that on by ourselves mm. something you have to do you have to move out of yeah, it's a must and if you can if you're ready to, to to take that step then you know you should try it on your own first you know try it on your own and then also if you're gonna move in with somebody make sure you're able to pay your own right because God forbid something happened and, you know, I mean, y'all break up or y'all get in a fight or whatever. Somebody's going to have to leave. I'm leaving. Okay? I'm leaving now. <laughs> and if you're the one leaving, make sure you can stand on your tent and pay your own rent. Or if she leaves, she could pay her own rent by herself. You don't want to be dependent on nobody to pay your rent. See or no? Mm. Right, so in in all essence, if if you plan on living or moving in with someone, don't rush. At least have you know at least a year or so. I would say person. have a stable and sane relationship. Mm. Know that you are not gonna leave the moment you find something out of place in the house so you have crazy ocd that you can nobody else can deal with make sure that you're sane before you take the step to live with someone because living with someone is not easy so you need to be sure of your decision and if as i said if you're leading towards marriage you know might That's as well a benefit but if you just want to, like, you just want to be lifelong partners, I mean, like, mm -hmm. come on. What are we doing here? I'm not very willing to be life partners now. But anyway, let me know what y'all think <laughs> in the comment section. Give me your thoughts. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit us on Instagram at Godson. The O's are zeros. At Lulu underscore no. Yes, and our family page, the underscore Lake Groves. And also hit us up on our emails for any collabs, business, anything that has to do with the business. Nothing else. Always stand on your 10, put God first, and mm -hmm. we're going to catch them love. On the flip side. You see? Thank you.